Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of What Exactly Have I Done With My Life? The setting sun cast long shadows across the forgotten road, as if warning us of the twisted path that lay ahead. The summons had arrived, calling my partner Lisa and me to Ma and Pa's house for a long-awaited family gathering. We were already running late, desperate to make it before darkness claimed the land. Jake! Have you seen the time? We're going to have to stir up the tormented souls trapped within the Ural and push her to the brink if we are to stand any chance of making it on time. In our haste, we made a fateful decision to take the deadly Ural motorcycle. Its rusted frame seemed to whisper secrets of darkness, its sharp edges glinting with an eerie allure. The motorcycle, infamous for its treacherous history, was a cursed relic that had consumed the lives of many who dared to mount it. Oh, Jake, they're going to be so mad with us. Relax, Lisa. I have a plan. I know a shortcut. As we embarked on our ill-fated journey, the wind whispered through the skeletal trees, a lamentation that sent chills down our spines. The air grew heavy with an unspoken tension, as if the very fabric of reality sensed the impending malevolence that awaited us. Our path took an unexpected turn as we sought a shortcut to Ma and Pa's house. The winding road twisted and turned, leading us deeper into an isolated, forgotten realm. Shadows danced at the edges of our vision, their sinuous forms mocking our desperate attempt to outrun the encroaching darkness. It was then that the sinister nature of our chosen route became painfully clear. We were as lost as the hopes and dreams of forgotten children. The scenery around us transformed into a grotesque tableau of nightmarish proportions. Gaunt trees, gnarled and twisted, loomed ominously, their branches reaching out like skeletal fingers, eager to ensnare unsuspecting victims. The once familiar landscape turned into a grotesque maze, with each turn leading us further into a maze of forgotten horrors. Jake, I don't have a good feeling about this. Me either, Lisa. The deadly Ural motorcycle growled beneath us, its engine vibrating with an otherworldly energy. A sinister hum filled the air, a discordant symphony of malevolence that seemed to permeate the very essence of our beings. With each passing mile, the motorcycle seemed to absorb our fear, fueling itself on the dark energy. As time slipped away and the darkness deepened, we arrived at Ma and Pa's house. But what greeted us was not the warm embrace of family, but a chilling silence that hung heavy in the air. The house stood before us, a dilapidated husk, its once inviting facade now a haunting specter of what once was. The windows, eyes into the abyss, offered no solace, only a reflection of our own mounting terror. our hearts pounding in our chests as the door creaked open, revealing a labyrinth of dread that awaited us within. The air grew thick with an unspeakable evil, as if the house itself was a living entity, hungering for our souls. Our presence had not gone unnoticed, and what was meant to be a joyous gathering turned into a descent into madness, where the true nature of our family's dark secrets would be revealed, plunging us into a nightmare from which escape seemed impossible. By subscribing, you cast your vote, declaring your desire to witness the harrowing continuation of our story. Your subscription will serve as a beacon of hope, encouraging us to push forward, to face the horrors that await us within those haunted walls. To journey with us as our sanity slips away, it is your support that will grant us the strength to confront the malevolence that lurks in the darkest recesses of Ural life. We need you.